Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Richard Lewis Show. I am, of course, Richard Lewis, and uh, we haven't done a show for a while. We've been busy. You may have seen me on the E-League TV show, and you may have seen me on the E-League TV show with my guest, but we're not going to be talking about E-League. We're not going to be talking about anything positive, really. Uh, my guest, Mo, has found himself embroiled in, uh, I, I guess it's a scandal. I guess that's what we have to call it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and... Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, I'll, I'll say right at the top of the show, you know, Mo, I love you. I got nothing but love for you. But we're, we're going in here because I think you've gone done fucked up. So <laughs> I mean, that's the reason I went to you, man, because uh, I don't want any uh, anyone to hold back. Yeah, well, you know, look, I, I, I definitely won't. I think it would be disingenuous to, to my fans. I think as well, though, sometimes a bit of scrutiny can be a good fucking thing. It gives people an opportunity to reflect, get a bit of fucking perspective. So for those who haven't been following this, basically, uh, there, there's a company called CSGO Diamonds. They're a, they're a gambling company. Mo was in a partnership with them to promote them. And logs came to light, uh, actually by yourself, which is a point I'll make in just a second. Uh, basically, what they were doing was they were fixing the role. Well, not fixing the outcomes. That's incorrect. Sorry. They were giving the streamers prior knowledge of the roles so they could fix their outcomes and basically bet accordingly and then create these wonderful moments that made their service look desirable, that you too could be a big winner. And uh, this, of course, was leaked by Mo. And Mo initially, I think this is fair to say, perhaps made it look like he hadn't participated in that shady behavior. Then CSGO Diamonds came right back, releasing logs that showed that you had. So Let's start at the beginning. Let's talk about your partnership with CSGO Diamonds and exactly what you were doing with them. T tell me about how it all came about. All right. So uh, in my line of business, I get contacted by these websites all the time. Uh, like 15, I tell this to people all the time, 15 to 20 emails a day. So the idea for Diamonds was a, a kind of a new dice site idea that wasn't really popular yet. And... I thought I saw potential in the idea of of the the whole game mode per se. Yep. So when when Diamonds originally contacted me, they they kind of you know blurted out offers, uh, twenty percent plus a guaranteed minimum that they would pay uh, for the first month, and then after every month after that, it'd be ten percent of the of the site. This is not equity. This is something called rev share, meaning yep. whatever the revenue the site makes after costs. It would be split, and I'd get 10% of that, right? Okay. So I thought, you know what? L let's give it a shot. First month went pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, but before that whole thing, like, when it very first, like, week in, this was, we were, I've already been working with them for a week, just barely introduced the site. And that's when that first log that I put out to the world uh, was said. Uh, basically, the belief for the, uh, for the owner of the site was that it's okay to give me future roles, instead of just refilling my account. Now, what other websites do, and this is public knowledge right now, but let's say I'm streaming, right, and I lose all my money on stream, and I'm still, you know, I'm only an hour into my stream, and I'm going to stream for seven more hours, and I don't have any more money on the website. You know, I'm not going to put my own skins in there, right? So other websites would, uh, would just refill you later that night when you're off stream, or yeah. sometimes they'll just tweet you and say, hey, we just credited your account. Uh, this owner didn't want to do that. From the start, he made it clear to me that instead of me re simply refilling my account, he thought that would look too shady on stream. So he thought what would be better is if whenever I'm low on diamonds, I would ask the guy for uh, the future, a, a list of the future rules to get back up to that amount and then be able to start betting normal again until I'm low again. And... Looking back at it, like I, I, I want to say this, like off the bat, like this was a hundred percent my fuck up, and I know we can say fuck, right? It's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. It, it was my fuck up. up. I, uh, looking back, I do regret the whole partnership with Diamonds, but I do not regret what happened now, which is me well, starting the whole the whole league thing. Okay, well, before we get into the league thing, uh, let's let's just talk a little bit about you know the sort of ethical fucking concerns. Because, look, dude, like, you're a smart guy, right? Like, you know, I mean, you don't necessarily look like that in this particular instance. But first of all, I, I, you said that a lot of people 
uh, it's public knowledge that uh, streamers are playing with house uh, house money. Well, it actually isn't. I think a lot of people that watch what you do and watch what other streamers and, you know, Phantom Lord, for example, another guy that I like, I have a lot of time for and respect as an individual, that people don't realize that they're playing with house money. I think they should. I think it's incredibly stupid and naive if you don't. But unfortunately, this industry is predatory in its nature and it preys on stupid and naive people. That's that's point number one. The, the gambling by its nature has to be marketed and advertised responsibly because you can't just make everybody fucking think they're going to be the winner, yeah. right? Well, because yeah. that preys on when, the mentally when I, weak. When I, say, and I, and when I say other sites, I just mean sites that I've worked for. Like mm. I don't know what what different sites have with different streamers or YouTubers if they even do offer uh, just either straight up pay or just free credits to play. For me, it originally started off just free credits for stream entertainment. Yeah, that's that's how it started off for me. Yeah, and I, and and I, I get that, but I mean, a lot of the time, a lot of these clips that we've seen, um, we'll talk about some of the other people later on, so you can give your kind of insider knowledge uh, about it and how it all works, the mechanics of the advertising. But I mean, I, I see it, and I, these are clearly staged people winning big amounts of money and of course first of all we know that it's house money second of all we know that they don't get to cash it all out that they just take a percentage of the wins and and third of all we know that it's basically and an, it's acting and it's designed to entice people now obviously that's advertising in a fucking nutshell but when people watch a stream People think that they're watching something genuine. They think they're watching something real. They don't think it's an artificial construct. And you've been party to that deception. You've, well, you've well, he, here's the what I say to that right there is uh, sometimes the, the these credits that they offer you, mm. they're, they're, they give them to you without really saying, hey, you can't pull this out. Like I, on other sites, I have huge balances that I could pull out at any time. Now, it's when I go to zero balance, that's where it, where they come in and say, hey, we'll give you money to keep playing on our site. We don't care what you do with it because they know eventually I'm going to lose it. That's the yeah. truth of the matter is. So there's about the, you know, the whole thing about like you're not allowed to pull stuff out. That really hasn't been a problem for me with any site. Any site I have a balance on, I can pull out. Now, the only site that had a problem with that for me was Diamonds where they were very... Uh, on top of their stuff and they would always say like oh no people can't pull this out people can't pull even when i went out and got them influencers to like help promote the site they would have them very limited on what they were able to do and what they were not able to do now um for me like i said like i do get refills if i'm at zero yeah but anything i win i can keep it's just my problem is i don't i lose it all right but i why do i lose it all because when i'm streaming and there's time to kill i have to you know I, that's my time to kill it. Like that's what I do on stream when I'm trying to kill time is gamble. And you can only gamble so much and win. You're always gonna lose if you keep going. You know what I mean? So I try. I've tried to be better with it. Where now when I have a lot of money saved up, I like to keep that in. And I'll start like if you've noticed, if, if people that have watched my stream have noticed, I've been kind of pulling out a lot more in my inventory lately just to do giveaways and even sometimes sell some stuff. But again, we 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 come back to this thing that. You must have known that this was wrong to to take these numbers in advance and bet accordingly and deceive the people that were watching the stream into thinking that you were you were legitimately winning and had no prior knowledge of the out potential outcomes. Um, you must have known that was wrong because you initially said you didn't want to do it. You were very clear yeah. about that. In fact, one of the reasons you leaked the Skype logs yourself was because that portion of the conversation exonerated you. And and I I was I didn't know it was wrong and and as the logs like as the more was said with between me and the owner, um, I was kind of convinced that this is his way of refilling my account rather than having because I guess I was stupid to think that hey no fuck this just refill my account with 10k if I lose all the money refill my account with 10k I'll be able to play the next day we're fine right. That's how it should have been. The problem was that he convinced me that it was bad for business if I just lose and they st and I have to stop playing. He wanted the uh, now looking back at it, I realize he just wanted me to stay on the site the whole time, and it makes yeah. more sense to me now that the more stream time the site has, the more money that everyone's yeah. making overall. Yeah, but and isn't that in itself concerning to you that the p the people behind these gambling sites they never want to show the very most likely outcome, which is losing. 
Exactly. You just said there, it's bad for business if you yeah. lose all the time. No, and, and here's the thing. Even though I lost all the time and mm. I lost a lot, uh, their way of, hey, when you're down and out, you know, instead of us refilling you, we're just going to give you the rules so you can win in front of everybody to make it look like there was a possibility to win. Which, at the end of the day, there always is a possibility to win on these sites, big. But there's also a bigger possibility, in my opinion, to lose on these sites as well. Yeah. And now looking back, I realize that the whole time I knew it was wrong what I did. Like, I'm not going to fucking try to pretend like I was some innocent guy. Uh, the only thing that in my mind that works is the fact that I came out and said it. Yep. Knowing full well what will happen to me. But did you? Though? Just, so that, yeah. that, this is an interesting part of it, right? Uh, we, what we all discussed, and obviously, you know, we, we, we're little gossipy bitches in the Counter Strike community. We were all talking about it. All the people here at E League were talking about it. And the general consensus was how the fuck could he be so stupid to put these logs out? Because once you fire the nukes, uh, you know, let's let's imagine it's like the '80s fucking Cold War movies that I brought was brought up on. Once you fire the fucking nukes, and you've got this, why wouldn't the country that also has nukes fire the nukes back? And in this instance, you fired the nukes at, at, at CS:GO I mean, Diamonds, and they fired it right back. And here's the thing: the way public perception works, they don't give a fuck about the company. It, 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 you can't s smear and, and, and scandalize and shame a company. I mean, once there's a face or a name involved, people would much rather go after that individual. It fits the mob mentality a lot more. So you are always going to fucking lose this exchange. From the moment you put that first Skype log out, you were always going to look like the bad guy. And in this instance, perhaps rightly so. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like if I didn't do anything, this just would have kept going on. And my goal at the end of the day was the site shuts down. And basically, like we, we talked about this early, like they're probably going to rebrand and come out with something else. But as long as those people are tamed along with me, I'll live with that. I mean, I've been through shit before, Richard, where yeah, my reputation that. has been completely, you know, fucked. And I've made it through. So, like, I'm confident I could get through this. I just wanted to get stuff out, out there that, like, a lot of false information has been said about this. Yes, the roles like that I got was to refill my own account so I could keep playing on their site for them because they refused to just refill it. They wanted to make it look that stupid on my part because that jeopardizes me more than them because yeah. I'm over here refilling my account manually when all I could have done is say, no, fuck you guys. If you want me, do that, right? The the other thing is um, with, with what I'm with them specifically is... I wanted this site to kind of just stop, period, after the whole exchange because it got to the point where I had to make the decision whether it's uh, okay to just be quiet and take the money and and not say a word and let this go on and then even probably still get paid a monthly fee from them just for staying quiet or just do this and say fuck it. But, but here's, here's, here's how it looks like from the outside looking in. Uh, and you know, look, I I might I might believe your version, but I but I know there's like thousands that don't. And what they see, and I understand why they see this, is that you were owed money, and it was like ninety one thousand. Is that correct? Yeah. That well, right. I was owed uh, less than that, but that's they pretty much bought me out or something for the like whatever they valued some. I don't know what they where they came up with the money that they offered to to keep me from one joining another website while they're working two to um keep me quiet from bringing these up and and not tell any of the people they influence as well mm. so i mean this this money here right it looks like because you weren't getting what you believed to be yours that that's why you went public. That they even showed those logs where you'd been very aggressive. I got that aggressive. money before I went public a long time ago. So, you've, 90, actually, so you've had that, the money. I've had the money since be, since before e like be, since during e I was I had the money. That wasn't it. This twenty six k affiliate money that I was kind of that I started that I brought out um, publicly was money that was in my affiliates account that they weren't supposed to touch at all. Right. Um, because that's direct affiliates that used my code. There was about, you know, something, I forgot how much. So that money, they weren't supposed to touch, yet they did. And they right. locked my account. And they said, well, you know, we paid you the 91. Why should you get this? Well, that's still 
something I'm owed, but it doesn't matter at this point anymore. After that show, after that, I decided, you know what, like, I've already had enough of this. And to be honest with you, Richard, I was gonna, without the 20, I never expected to get that extra money. After I got my 91, where I was owed for like the just advertisement, that's what I, I already made the decision that once I got home, because all this happened while I was an elite, like I wasn't able to do anything at all. So yeah. when I got home, I decided to put this out there. Well, okay. So my my my, my follow up to that is, uh, look, and and you'll never get credit for being a whistleblower now. Unfortunately, no one's going to say, "Hey, good job, Mo. You exposed the shady gambling site." Even though the byproduct, like I, I even said this myself, I think this site is probably uh in in the wrong to a greater degree to you are but you're still both in the wrong you know it's my fault it's it's my fault for lending my brand to the site that already had these intentions mm. and that i somehow convinced myself that it it was okay to re, re you know to uh use house money this way rather than like because at the, the money that i was winning on diamonds wasn't by any means uh mine i didn't win it i didn't fucking uh get to cash it out and keep it or do anything with it it yeah. was the website's money. I would but just. It, yeah. But it looks how it looks is okay. So you're saying there was this affiliate money that they weren't supposed to be be touching or anything. Now that's such a tiny amount. You know, I know the kind of money that that you make. I know you do very well for yourself. Uh, so my my initial question here would be why why the fuck not just let it slide? I mean, forget right or wrong. I, 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 I told you self-preservation, right? I, I it wasn't that money that I told you. It wasn't even about that. It was I just wanted to put this out there. I made a decision that maybe it was me finally realizing I did something wrong, or maybe it was also maybe fueled by uh, anger towards the, uh, the other owners of how they handled the whole situation from the start as well. Yeah. Because after the, our initial, the, the roles thing, like we were supposed, like the, the owner like assured me that this wasn't happening anymore and he wasn't doing it with anyone else. And that we can grow from this and that's it. Like there wasn't, the roles weren't like, to me, the big deal. The big deal was more of them kind of, uh, as soon as they saw success on the website, they said, oh, you know what? We don't need you anymore. So mm -hmm. here's a little payoff and don't tell anyone about what we did to get here. Pretty much that that's the reality yeah, of the situation. And, and CSGO Diamonds have confirmed that with, with me just while we've been on the, the uh, conversation. They've said you came out and said it because they broke ties with him and you'd actually wanted to keep the relationship going. No, they actually, th we didn't even before that, uh, because I thought I was going to be part of E-Lead before the conversation. We, I even told them that it looks like I'm going to be part of E-Lead. So maybe we have to do some rework the whole agreement thing. Then midway through that is when I found out that maybe I'll be just three weeks in E-Lead. Mm. So I, I went back to them and I said, well, it looks like I could possibly come back for like, again what's going on and that's when they they did they had this new game mode that came out that right. was all my idea and that's where i felt like i contributed everything to the site and just well, to get shot tell me tell me about that tell me about that idea that you okay so there was they have a new game i don't want to give the website any sort of advertisement whatsoever so i'm not even going to bring it up but there okay. was a certain game mode that mm -hmm. i had the idea for and mm -hmm. from scratch and they had you know i'd help them develop it i helped I gave the idea, period, and it went into something to where, like, when they saw it as a good idea, they saw that it might be successful, possibly. It could be a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know how successful it could have really been, but as soon as the idea launched, it was when they said, okay, we've decided that we want to cut ties. Uh, we want to go this way with the, and that way. Mm. And I was like, all right, well, then, you know, like, I, I get what you're saying. That's fine, but uh, you got to understand that if, if we cut ties... I also am going to fucking go to another site and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I think when the owner got wind of that I might leak this mm -hmm. because the other owners didn't know that he leaked this with me. He was the main owner. See, there's like yeah. three guys involved. The main dude hid the fact that he told me roles from the other two. Yeah. Just so it was like between us. So that's why I don't under I don't even know if this guy even really did it with just me. I don't have a history with this guy. I don't know him personally. I don't know why he would trust me with this kind of information. But he came to me and told me, hey, I think we should do this. And I'm only doing it with you. 
I've asked him on multiple occasions if he's done it with other people, and he said no. So I, I don't have any proof that he said he did it with someone else, but I simply don't believe that guy. That's really how it does with me. I feel like uh, there's there's clips of, of YouTube out there on you know certain YouTubers of people that are really, really shady in terms of how they won and how they reacted and all this shit. And that's why I don't trust the guy because I don't know him at all. And he was able to give me this kind of information. Mm. So, let, right, let's 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 rewind again a little bit. Now, would would you describe yourself as as ethical? Is that, uh, would, to, would, to a certain degree. Do, yeah. do, do, do you think you have a strong moral compass? For the most part, yeah. Okay. So, and I don't want to talk about previous lapses. I don't think they're necessarily relevant to this conversation. A lot of people have said, "Oh, you know, that time you downloaded fucking cheats and ESEA." I don't, I don't see that as relevant to this, right? So let's not talk about that. But let's let's stay focused on this, right? Do you do you think these companies are unethical in what they do? In terms of all these companies. Yeah, yeah, gambling. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, gambling. Like I've said this multiple times, I feel that uh, at the, at the same time, like uh, I gotta explain. Like I do believe that they're unethical in terms of. I feel like they they advertise towards the younger generation a lot more than the adult, which is something that you know even I've spoken up about before. I I feel like uh, I can only do so much as a streamer. Yeah, you know, what I mean, I know like there's gonna be, there's always gonna be. So I've even, I even said this at like so, some kid at um, E lead, like he said, I'm 13 and I gambled because of you or something. I don't know if he was trolling me or something, but that kind of that kind of hurts when when younger people. Because I have a 13 year old brother, I have a little brother, and mm -hmm. I don't let him go. I don't let him do any of that stuff. But then he is watching me all the time, winning insane amounts of money, and for the most part, really winning this money. You know, I mean, like I hope, like this whole thing now puts a paints it as anytime you see me winning money on on stream is it's fake, but it's it's not because unless it's well, I can't say it's not because unless it's like predetermined that I can't like when diamonds it was fake. Like I'm not gonna lie, like diamonds was fake because I wasn't able to keep any of that money. Yeah, you know what I mean, like that kind of they were just throwing money at me just to keep me on. But I, I do, I do feel bad that uh, th there's a certain generation that kind of gets influenced by this. I don't feel bad for the adults that that choose to gamble. But and uh, exactly and this this is the key thing though Mo, right? Like I mean, how would you describe the breakdown of your audience? You know, look, I I I know Mo the man, right? Like I know you're yeah. an I know you I like to think my audience is mostly mature, dude, honestly. Like right. I don't think I have a lot of kids that watch me um be, because of just looking at chat and reading what's said unless mm. these kids are insanely mature. I don't think I have that many young kids. I have people like that are close to my age, people with families, people with kids, people mm. like, you know, just more on like the, I would say, you know, closer to 30 than 20 is my group of people. But that's not saying that it could all, of, it could be, there could be young kids that watch me. I can't, all I could do as a Twitch streamer is have it be that 18 or older tick thing where they have to mature audience only. That's all I could do as a Twitch streamer to make sure a mature audience is watching me. So do do you think then that, you know, knowing, and, and having said you've had interactions where you've had like 13-year-olds, I didn't hear the interaction at Ely, but I did notice obviously there were a few uh, uh, slightly younger people there, certainly younger than us. Um, and, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't hear that 13-year-old say that. Maybe he was trolling you. Maybe he was being deadly serious. I guess we'll never know. But it, now that you have this awareness that young people are watching your stream, you are going to be influential whether you want to be or not. I think it's bullshit when people just have to become fucking role models. You know, Charles Barkley always used to say it. Well, because I can play ball, I should, you know, raise your kids. You know, fuck you. Uh, and and, and I, I, I subscribe to that. I'm not interested in being a role model. But unfortunately, certain things come with the job and certain responsibilities come with the job. And... You know, you're saying you can recognize it as unethical, yet you still took the money. Taking the money is my payment. That's simple as that. Taking yeah. the money is because I, I'm not cheap, Richard. I'm not a cheap. People hey, I, think I ninety-one thousand. Guess what? That's not even a lot to what I did for them. Number one, uh, mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things, like I can say that, like think about it this way: ninety-one thousand, right? That was for that month, ten percent 
mm. of what they made. That's, oh, that's that, no, straight up. So money. you guys got to understand that this is my owed money for advertisement, not a, not take the money. And even if I, even if they gave me a million dollars to hush hush, I would have still leaked it because it, once it's it's not like one of these things where there's contracts involved or there these are two 20 year old kids that don't know what the fuck they're doing and that got their money from scamming some other game back in some game called RuneScape for gold and then using that money to start this fucking website and all this, by the way, all this RuneScape scam shit that I, I found out after, not before, just so everyone yeah. knows, I did not think I was dealing with straight up scammers, right? But uh, you guys gotta understand that this is advertising. If, if you talk, well, no, any big streamer out there right now or a big YouTube, YouTuber are yeah. easily act getting more than I would have gotten and just for less work than I would have done for that website. So there's people, There's this is the kind of money that's being thrown around by these skin sites. So don't look at me and say, he took the money and, and took all the site's money and left. No, the site gave me what they owed me, but they still have millions hidden because that's how much they make. Okay. It's very it's very simple. But so, so the next question, the follow up to this, and this is just a general question. You know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers called out for having unethical sponsorships and putting their names on endorsements that they shouldn't. You know, uh, we went through this in League of Legends with What the Fast, which, you know, it, it, it claims to be able to make your internet connection faster. It can't. It can't. It can't. I tried it. Yeah, tried it, it absolutely before. can't. I tried uh, it for it, European servers that it didn't yeah, do anything for me. It, yeah, it's like downloading RAM. It it, it, it doesn't work, okay? But all the all, for a period of time, all the YouTubers had it, and they came out, and they endorsed it, and and everybody else was like, you know, yeah, 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 this is really, really good. And then when a few people started pushing back on it, YouTubers tried to distance themselves, and then, of course, what the fast stopped paying them. And then the YouTubers came out after that and said, oh, yeah, we never supported them. They were always shady. And it was when the money dried up, that's when they got a conscience. That that, that could be it, man. Maybe I, honestly, like, maybe I just was kind of blinded by the money at first because it was paying a lot of money to yeah. adver well, yeah, for advertisement. Of like, that, that's the thing. It's a lot of money for just me putting my name. Like, I never knew uh, my name would mean so much to a, a company to make them so much money. I really never expected this ever to happen. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I was getting this kind of money for just being uh, affiliated with the website was kind of crazy to me. And I was, you know, at first I was like, all right, this is kind of shady, whatever. And then I guess after the first month and, and, and keep in mind that the fake rules, like I did bring them up and everything, but the fake rules were only used very minimal because it only was used when I was low and I needed more money on the site. That was it. When I, whenever you saw me on the site with like a crazy amount of money, there was not that was just me betting and winning or losing. Whatever happened, happened. But yep. the only time fake rules were used, and I think people could even tell when they were being used because you could even see me on 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 kind of the the clips, kind of yep. looking back and and getting them from the person. But at the same time, I understand. I I I, I fucked up. Like I fucked up big time. Yeah. But people need to understand, like, you, you talk about other YouTubers. I don't think other websites provide this kind of information. Here's why, Richard. For two years, I've been in this kind of business, right? Yeah. Not one website owner has ever, and I, and I know all the owners of all the websites, not one website owner has ever come up to me and tried to sell me on this idea, ever. They, they will say, we will give you credits to play. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Which to me is kind of the same thing, right? Like you're getting credits to play with house money. Not a lot of people know that. And you're playing. And if you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. You just get more house money. That's how it works. Now, that's the most I've ever gotten offered wise from other sites is that they will just give you an unlimited supply of coins or, or, or uh, you know, whatever it is, emeralds or, or, you know, diamonds, for instance. But diamonds was different. Diamonds wanted to give me the money, not that way. They wanted me to look like I won it on that site. And that was the biggest difference between diamonds and other sites. So the, the next question then is, you know, given how disparaging you are about these people that you found out, you know, they were RuneScape scammers, your words, not mine. I, I need to look into they that were, I, I don't know if they were scammers, but I know they made their money off selling RuneScape gold. Right, which, which is outside the terms of service. Yeah, it's outside the terms okay, of service. Okay, well, then they're scammers. Yeah. Well, okay. So, so um, the, the, the next question would be, do you not think that just, if you're going to put your brand, if you've got any pride in your brand, 
should you not look into where the money comes from, what a company is stand, you know, stands for, what they're about morally before you get in bed with them. You know, it seems to me that what you did was you saw a big fucking number and that was the, fu- well, hey, the money's good. If the money turns up, uh, you know, if the check fucking doesn't bounce, then I'm and- all in with these people. And then what you found out is that you don't necessarily like how they operate, that they are going to engage in unethical practices. And this is the sort of thing that you can look into before. And indeed, that's how it should be. I uh, mean, now you got to understand that, like, this this whole skin thing is still kind of so new that you don't really know the red flags before. Like, for all I knew, because the, these guys, they came in, they the had some money. It's a gambling company. You know, I that's mean, a big well, fucking well, red flag well, right there. But, that's, but that, to me, is still like, I, I, as you see on my stream, I don't mind representing a site at all. It just representing a site, the right site. That's the problem, I guess. I'm finding because, to me, like like for instance, I play on another site, Double. Mm. I've never had any bad interactions with Double. The owner, I see him once every two months. Mm -hmm. All I know on Double is if I'm blowing out, completely out, tapped out, then I will send one of the mods a message, and then magically my account might have twenty to twenty five thousand coins on it. And I could play. Now, if I build from that amount, that's all mine. Mm. Plus my affiliates, which has, like, I'll be honest with the affiliates, I've showed this on stream, has been $300,000 since January. Yeah. So that's in six months, that's $300,000. Now, that's skin money. But realistically, if I was to pull all that out and sell it, I could get like 400 grand for that, right? Mm. But but I don't because you guess what I do? I end up playing with all the affiliate money. I end up playing with all the coins for entertainment. That's it. To me, it's all entertainment. I try to entertain my stream that way. Do you think you have a gambling problem? It's been said in not the a, past. Not, I don't here here's my here's my mentality with that. Okay. I don't consider this real money. That's why I don't see it as a gambling problem because I'll lose it and it won't bother me. Now Ah, hang on though, hang on. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I don't gamble. Let me, let me rebuff that because here's what the logs look like to me. It looked like you, you quickly burned through a bunch of money, and then you did something unethical that you didn't want to do initially. If you remember, you turned down the option to have the future rolls initially, and then, and then you started asking for these fifty numbers in advance. Now, is that about? You know, have your ethics been compromised because you feel compelled to continue gambling that you don't want to end on a loss? You got to understand from the lodge that you see is that this isn't painting the whole picture. The the diamonds people, they cut and paste all those little lodge. Mm -hmm. The the whole point of me getting money, and I want to, I can't stress this enough. When I'm asking for future roles in the lodge, it's me asking them for future roles so I could keep streaming his website, which he asked me to do on multiple occasions, is he says, no matter what, keep streaming the site as much as you can. He, I, If it was up to me, like on Double or anywhere else, when I lose, I'm done streaming that site for the day. I go play. I'm playing games. Next day, I have money because they send me money, right? Mm. This guy didn't want it that way. He wanted... So when I say I lost this much, I need more, is because I'm telling him that I'm almost slow. You might need to refill me in case you're going to fall asleep and then I can keep playing. That was all because the site kind of conditioned me to tell them that. You have to understand, none of the site, like I'm not asking for a role so I could make money so I could pull money out. I never pulled out anything from Diamonds. Never, yeah. ever. Okay? The only time, like, you, and, and they'll even, uh, like, show that, that nothing was pulled out in bulk by me at all, ever. Mm. That's my biggest, pe- like, problem with this is that it makes it look like I was loud, or mm-hmm. I am not. I just read the word loud. <laughs> it makes it. May, well, I am loud, but it makes you are, it you are like getting that, loud. You are. It makes it look like that. I was like fiending for it. Like, hey man, I'm down to you know twenty thousand. Give me some numbers. I wasn't. I'm simply doing something to be able to keep streaming for the fucking website, which is something that I admit a hundred percent now was wrong. That's yeah, it. but 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 here's the thing. I think you're dodging the question a little bit, brother, and that is that I don't I've, think I, I have a gambling. Problem. I, I, I you do not think you have a gambling problem. I've, I've, I've a seen real you money gambling problem. No. Yeah, but, but I mean, it doesn't need to be. Okay. It does need to be. It's fake money. This isn't real. I no, I, I get that. But if you right, right, if you have a compulsion, if you have a compulsion to do things repeatedly, it doesn't matter if it's like. Do I have an addiction to gambling C, uh, on CSGO sites? Yes. Right. 
So, yes. th- uh, and here's the thing, and I've seen your stream. I do watch it on occasion. Um, as I've told you, it's, I don't really feel it's aimed at me. Um, but well, but I have. You're, you're above my demographic, man. We want people with <laughs> yeah, money. Yeah. On yeah. My <laughs> we need people that have money to spend, not people that are almost homeless. <laughs> yeah, not washed up fucking hasbreeds. Yeah, I get it. So, uh, you know, I'm, I, I've, I've watched it, and I've seen you gamble on stream, and I've seen you get angry when you fucking lose. Real because, angry. B- because you act out of character. I don't like to lose because here's the thing. Yes, I, it's, it's not real money to me because that's how I put it in my head so I don't freak out when I lose huge amounts of money. Because there's been times where I've lost, because like I told you, on for the most part, other than diamonds, that money is mine to take. I can cash it out. Mm. But when I cash it out, then I'm I'm bored. Then I'm like, what do I do now? I got to fucking play. I'm not. I'm going to still keep streaming. I'm going to still be here. This is kind of entertainment for my stream. So no matter what, I'm kind of trapped in this thing where I have to keep playing. Yeah, but why do you? Why? Why, why not? Why not just say after this? Just take right? all the money and walk. No, just why? Right, dude. Right, we we've talked about this. Like you, you know, you've kind of, and we'll get into this again a, a little bit later in the show. But you were in you you were in a fucking real good spot, man. You were like a number one CS:GO streamer. You've been on TV just as recently as like last fucking week. Uh, you you blew that out the fucking water. Everyone was really impressed with how you did it. Everyone at fucking TBS loved working with you. Uh, obviously, the chances of you coming back now uh, are, are fucking you know slim to fucking none. Uh, be, because obviously the network can't be anywhere near any sort of gambling or impropriety or anything like I that. I mean, Thorin has Alpha Draft. I just want to put that out there. Well, look, and, and all the TBS people yeah, watching, on, and the rivalry between you two doesn't, you know, look. Whatever. It doesn't help. I did it. I, I, I did don't know what happened. I did a show. I just, I just, I, I had special. My clause. problem with Thorne's completely I, different. Alpha draft. I Alpha special- draft is gambling as well. Just so everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, you know, so we're then, all clear. We all, uh, we've all helped sites gamble, and we've all made money for sites that aren't ethical. That's right. honestly what it is. Thorin, Thorin and myself did a show where we worked on a, a show that was basically an advertisement for fantasy betting. So but did no, I. I've done that too. Okay, good. And at no point did Alpha Draft come to us and say, hey, guys, would you like to know uh, like a day before, you know, whatever, or would you like to know oh. how to game this system so you can make money and then you can go and tell everyone how much money you're yeah, making? It's, it's, and it's if they, still, come, still they the come to me, Mo, and offered me that, I would have them to the players. get their ass. I'd have told no, them. No, I understand that. I'm just saying we all take money from these websites, no matter what they are, because it's money, and we all have to pay the bills, and mm-hmm. that's the truth. Now, Alpha Draft was paying you and Thorin money. Vulcan, uh, their competitor, was paying me money. Mm-hmm. We, we, we we all do it. That's my point. I'm yeah. not the only streamer that that gambles. But, like, but, if someone's but, trying to ask me to like to like all of a sudden become a guy who doesn't who doesn't gamble because because of one thing that happened on the internet and and I chose to leak it, mm-hmm. like I'm, I'm going to say no, because if gambling is part of the entertainment, it, when gambling becomes not entertaining for the viewer, that's when I'll stop gambling. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. It's all, to me at least, it's all about what the viewer, viewer wants to see. Like sometimes I'm playing Counter-Strike for 12 hours a day. I don't want to play Counter-Strike for that long. Sometimes I hate Counter-Strike. It's all about, to me, what the viewer wants to see. Okay, and I'll, I'll just reiterate the point. If at any stage Alpha Draft had offered me money to game I'm a not, system, I'm not accusing you of anything. No, 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 no. But I, I cut out because I, I'm, I've got the Skype set, so I fade if you talk, so I don't interrupt people. You know, because I've got a tendency to do that. So just to reiterate, if I, if I had ever received an offer akin to that, I would have fucking refused it, and I probably would have gone public. But after refusing it, you see. Um, so here's the thing, right? You're saying you've got to pay the fucking bills. I get that, right? We've all got to eat. And obviously, there's a lot of money coming in from these companies. I, I'll be honest. Yeah, I did have doubts when an alpha draft was there uh, offered to me. In fact, one of the reasons why I didn't have the same deal that Thorin had with alpha draft in my videos and doing the funny intros is because I didn't want it to color my journalistic output. I didn't want anybody to say, how can you trust this guy He's in bed with Alpha Draft, and I had stuff written in specifically into the contract that if they ever were involved in a scandal like this one, and this is true, Alpha Draft will verify this. 
Um, I, I, I could not only report on it, but my contract ended that day. The story broke. I just didn't want to be associated with anything ch along those lines. Uh, and that's well, why I... I agree with you. Like, you're, you're smarter than me when it comes to this. Richard. No, but, 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 to say? but here's the thing. I don't think... It's not about being smart. It's not about being smart. Here's the thing. You, what I'm saying to you is you could get any type of sponsor. You could get any type of sponsor, right? Like, it doesn't have to be gambling. I think you've gravitated towards gambling for for reasons I can't quite put my finger on. It might be that they're offer, offering more money. But I'm pretty sure a guy like yourself with your brand it, it, and your reach. It, it, it's, it's, it's a mixture of not just the money, but it's the mixture of that's what people watch. That's what people want to see. You got people like, I, you know, other streamers. I'm not going to name some, but show mm. me a top streamer that doesn't gamble in CSGO. Everyone does it. Show me a top YouTuber that hasn't shown a video or ha their biggest videos that have the most views aren't somewhat to do with them with gambling, a CSGO skin. That's just what's in right now. That doesn't mean it's all that's in. You're right. Like maybe in a year, all this changes. There's no more skin gambling. Now it's a whole different thing. We, we talked about this recently. Uh, uh, we all know this isn't here forever, man. Yeah, this, this isn't is, here forever. This I said, I, I, and, and people are saying Hiko. Hiko's not a streamer. <laughs> like yeah, Hito streams a once a month. Player. Hito streams once a month. Shroud's a streamer. You know, <laughs> you know I mean, you could say that I love how people say Hito when he's once a month streaming. Right. So look, here's, here's the follow on point. All of this is going to change, man. And and this is what it I'm saying. Will. And, it's, and, and it's actually it's things happen. like this that are going to make it change. Let's In a lot of ways, you might have like, killed the fucking goose that laid the golden egg for a lot of people. Why is everyone hating? Why is everyone hating? Because I'm the hero now that I ended gambling forever. If it ends after this, that means I started it, right? Well, it's not that simple, though, is it? Because you've been a beneficiary of an ethical behavior. I mean, I, here, here's the thing. Whether whether this... Okay, so you say beneficiary of unethical behavior. Yeah. The, okay, so I made money from the site, mm -hmm. but I didn't make money from the rules. Does that make sense? If you're yeah. saying that I influenced people that thought, oh, hmm... Mo won, so I won. I don't think that's fair because one, I've won for years and lost for years. So mm -hmm. no matter what happened, it didn't change the outcome of it all. Whereas, if it's if, not about outcomes. In fact, this is this is proven. This is a proven thing. It's not about the winning or the losing. It's about the fucking thrill of having the potential to win. That's why people engage with it. That's why you've got to be very no, careful but, but about it how it's presented. But that's the thing. This whole future role only affects my role and that's it. It wasn't a site that affected other people. It was between me and the site. And I and all the site did was it showed that it made it seem that I could win more than I could have maybe naturally. Maybe I naturally would have won more because I have won more on that site naturally just by doing the auto bet system or something. Because when you auto bet, you can't predict the bets. It's so fast that it just goes. So my whole point is what what did I do exactly other than maybe influence people to bet more. Well, okay, so I'll tell you. You you misrepresented a service. Now, I want you to think about that. We have these things called trade standards f for a reason, and trading standards basically ensure that any product that is marketed is given an accurate representation of what you can expect if you enter into that product or service. Misrepresentation of products and services that would that would mislead somebody into using them on a false basis with an unrealistic expectation. In a lot of cases, uh, people obviously get sued for things like that. People, um, you know, if in very extreme uh, cases, obviously it can lead to things like corporate manslaughter. You know, if you represent medicine as being totally safe and people take I, I, it, you know, I, things I like that. Right? that. I, okay, I cool. understand that. I understand that. Okay. So, so if, that's if what you've done. You, you, if, have, if, you have misrepresented a, a, a service. And if the we and even though the website was involved in this from A to Z, mm. what what happens there? And 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 this whole thing is this even a like? What is skin gambling? Like that's that's what I'm trying to do. Like, what do we? Yeah, I, where do I, we I, go? Like, like there's yeah, no I, if there. If, I'll I'll assure people something. If there's a clear cut law on what's good and what's bad, I will not do what's bad. Okay. That it's very simple. If there's a clear cut, hey, this is illegal. You, I'm not gonna jeopardize my entire career for something that's illegal. You no, understand? but this is the point, though. It, it it isn't illegal yet. I know in the UK we're having a white paper. What? Well, what? Well, here's the thing. But, they're from the UK as well. Mm. The owners, and yeah. they're trying to hide that fact, but they are. They're from the UK. 
and they know well full that it's illegal in the UK. Mm. I mean, we, we, for example, okay, here's another uh, one. Obviously, Henry G created Easy Skins. We all know Henry. And he sold it or yeah, got yeah. rid of it or whatever. Well, yeah, but he, he got issued with a letter basically telling him that he had to cease uh, while the government was kind of looking into things. And a, there was a few other companies with UK branches or that took bets from UK online addresses and IP addresses that got hit with the same letter and they had to d desist operations and Henry complied with that and, and didn't do it. Now this all says to me that a wind of change is coming in regards to gambling uh, and Henry made his money and he got out and I think that's what these guys were going to do but the, the problem you've got here is well, I feel like they still operating made on a their much money. bigger scale. I mean these guys aren't are by no means some uh, kingpins that know what they're doing. They're two little kids who have a coder, and that's it. They they got lucky simply because I trusted them. That's it. They used my brand to get bigger, and then they started using you to other people with big brands to get bigger. Then they got big. Now the only thing I could have done to make it not work for them was put my brand out on the line and, and leak this shit about them. I already know of a dozen YouTubers who have left them because of this. And and okay. that was my goal all along to kind of stop, make them cease. What about, what about another way? You see, here's what you could have done. And this is why I think, you know, perhaps you should have took some advice from some people before you went public with these logs. Here, imagine if you'd framed it this way and you said, Hey, Counter-Strike community. Uh, I've recently ended my relationship with CSGO Diamonds, and I've got nothing good to say about the site. I won't get into specifics, uh, but let's just say I, I consider them to have engaged in unethical practices. This has opened my eyes to the problems inherent within the gambling scene when it comes to Counter-Strike, and I will no longer be endorsing gambling. Now imagine if you'd framed it like that, with but, no but, leaked but, logs, but without then, divulging anything. Everyone cheers and hollers and hey. No, but then they would have went on and 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 said what they said. Why would they, why would have, they have done that? Why would they have it, done that? It's a bad. It's as bad a look for them. The only reason they put it's their a logs bad out look for me too. I knew yeah, what but, I was doing. I knew it was gonna fuck my brand, but it. It's it's my brand can survive this, believe it or not, Richard. Yeah, no, I've no, survived no, I, worse. I, believe yeah, me. No, no, I've survived I know, worse. I know, I know it can. But this is the point. We're talking about your brand surviving. Your brand should be thriving. You, you this was like a, a I really like to live life on the edge, Richard. If yeah, you know but, this about me. Yeah, dude, but there's 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 life on no, this. I mean, I'll, I'll say I just don't understand it. What I don't get what I don't see the gain here. If, That's if, what I'm saying. If, I don't if I don't if I don't if I simply say I left this website because I don't trust them anymore. Mm. The website will still be around. Mm. If I give details, and everyone's about details, if I give details on why I do not trust this website, then the website will die. And yes, you said they can rebrand, they could always come, I don't give a fuck, they're dead now. The website's dead because, and they, they are no longer a part of the CSGO community. Other sites mm. I have that, that I've dealt with in the past have never done this to me. Have you seen? I've been in in this business for how many years? Two years since since yes, skin Jesus gambling treatment. came out. Mm -hmm. Since skin gambling came out, I've never done this to a skin site. Why? Because this is the very first site that's done this this way. Mm. No site has ever tried to give me any sort of advantage or anything. Anything skin sites would give me is just free skins to bet with. That's all they've ever given. So mm -hmm. that's my point. So why should this website get a free? And, and and keep making. They're making a million dollars a month, Richard. A million dollars. Yeah, a no, month. I know how much money to make. So I think it's I incredible. Like these kids make a million dollars a month doing what they were doing. And what what if they went to another YouTuber that's even bigger than me and told them, "Hey, how about this?" And someone who wasn't gonna fucking rat them out. They could have went to someone else and done the same thing that they did with me. I just ratted them out. I'm sorry. No, no, hey, don't apologize for ratting them out. But the problem is that if if. If you are, uh, like I say, if you ever benefit from it, it's very hard to to paint this image of yourself. As I'll always hero. bet. Let me tell you something. No, anything you see me doing on stream, I'm benefiting from. Mm -hmm. People pay for advertisement, so I'm always gonna benefit no yeah. matter what. I, yeah. you, you understand? The the problem is, I did not benefit from future roles. That did not benefit me whatsoever, personally. That benefited the site because it gave the site more airtime on my stream. That's mm -hmm. all it did. Future roles was their benefit. I didn't benefit from the future roles. That was their benefit. But I took part in it because I was convinced that that's the way they refill my account and that's the way 
the partnership was going to go because they didn't want to refill my account the normal way. That's that's all. It, it honestly just comes out to fucking greed. Honestly, they wanted more airtime on my stream. They wanted me to play their site more than any other site. They wanted me to always talk about and, their site. And, and they, greed on your part as well, though, surely. Well, well, I mean, I uh, to be honest, Richard, I was making more money doing other things, not with them. So I kind of made less money with them. But it, it was more stressful. But that's my fault for f putting myself in that situation. They 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 overextended with Summit even. Summit left them because they wanted more airtime with him. So he's lucky he got out good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... Okay. It, so so let, let's let, let's dial it back down. Let's talk about some general stuff. So the story breaks, um, and I'll be honest. I mean, wh what I do, what what I've always done, is when people like if I've ever like done anything wrong, um, you know, I'll try and keep as low a profile as as I can. Like for example, over the choking thing, which is still the biggest most blown up load of bullshit ever. I mean, that was worse than what I did, Richard. You almost hurt a human being. <laughs> you physically uh, hurt someone. I, I just fucking... I, I, did, I didn't physically hurt anybody. <laughs> I'm kidding, Richard. Relax, man. No, I turned into an interview no, but, about the Richard Lewis. No, but, I, no, but actually, it, it, it's an interesting point about, about morality and, and everything else. But let's... Um, so, so what I did at that at that juncture was the only reason I wrote the article that I wrote about it on Breitbart was Breitbart said we want you to write an article about it and clarify what happened. My employers basically said you've got to do that, and DreamHack took that as a big affront, and that's why they mysteriously had the rogue employee come out with a load of bullshit, which inarguably didn't happen. Uh, you know, no one was wrestled to the floor. They give this overly dramatic version of events, and it was simply because if you think about it in the grand scheme of things, the politics that, that were at play. You know, obviously, you've got a Twitch. Well, you've got the a Twitch on GGA, GGA on own, uh, Alliance. Uh, you know, like it, it's a no-brainer to throw me under the bus. Um, so what I tried to do after that in the aftermath was just ride it the fuck out, not say anything. What you did in the aftermath of the CS:GO gambling thing is you just went after a bunch of fucking people. I don't even understand that you started tweeting at Thorin. For just I, uh, for I, I, I for tweeted just at Thorin. No, but th that's that's my point. What like Thorin's kind of rubbing his nose somewhere it shouldn't be. Number one, all he did was if retweet he went, something well, then, in the public. And world. I told them he's a great, good retweeter. He's better at retweeting than he is at the desk. That's all I said. How is that bad? Yeah, yeah but why 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 be inflammatory at a time when you know you're going to come into because great because scrutiny? I don't because here's the thing, Richard. What I did was wrong, but I think me leaking this was more right than wrong. Like, like, like that, that's how I look at it. I look at it at least, at least I stopped this website from doing this with other people. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's, that's how I, that's how I justified it in my head. Now with the whole Thorin thing, there's, that's been a problem. And you know why the Thorin thing is a problem personally, because you know how Thorin felt personally the whole time I was over there. So you, that's a whole yeah. different issue on its own that I don't want to deal with. But yeah, I'm no, tired of no, Thorin no. like kind of use, it's another thing. He just retweeting to get a rise because that's yeah, all okay. he does. He, he he might have been retweeting to get a rise, but again, so well, why? he got a rise. Yeah, but why 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 do it? Why why? I I, 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 I in think the, the least storm. I think the, the least I did there was was retweet at or tweet to Thorin. That was the 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 smallest thing I did. Yeah, and then you Other, went stream and you 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 called him a fucking retard. No, I think he's retarded acting. Yeah, That's okay. What you're so, so I so, called. All right, for the okay. record, I called Thorin. A lot of things before all of this even happened. So my dislike for Thorin didn't change or get better throughout this. I equally no. dislike Thorin as much as I did before all of this happened, Richard. Yeah, be, no. be, and I have streams to prove it. So I don't see how this is even relevant to my issue with diamonds. Because I literally acted the same way towards Thorin I did as I did before. So I have no idea how that matters. If you don't, so, it'd be different if I never talked to Thorne before and then I still it hated on him. Quite matters. So within like, I don't know, like a 48 hour period of this uh, 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 story breaking where most people would go into damage control, you attacked Thorin, somebody with a, a platform that's as big as yourself. Um, you you went on stream and you did things that you know are going to just inflame passions. You know, I don't give a fuck if you team kill someone in a game or you shout at someone for being bad in a game. But at that particular moment, it's ill advised because then it stirs up all your detractors uh, that have I been mean, waiting. I mean, if 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 Richard, if you actually read that whole, well, I, I, I know you did. The very first comment on that was the full video of the to take full context of what yeah. happened. 
So that in itself is understandable. Now, am I going to change how I am on stream because of the shit that's around me? No. I stream because it's my job. I stream because it's work. It's what I do for a living. I'm going to keep streaming, Richard. And I, I, the only thing no, I did no, on stream, no, no one, the no only, one's the only thing I regret doing on stream is trying to explain this situation mm. every single day on stream when I should have just kept gaming and that's it. Because when yeah. I was gaming, that's fine with me. But me trying to explain the whole thing because people will come in with completely misguided thinking, I took money, I took future roles, stole money from the website, and then in turn stole from the people, and then got paid yeah. by the website to cover it all up. And and that that's what people actually think happened. And that's not the case. The the website has somehow been painted innocent in this whole thing. And not I to don't, mention I don't Reddit, think that. I don't I don't think anyone on Reddit, the website actually has and, and and this is this is this might be a theory, but the the biggest thing on Reddit of me and Diamonds is someone that just made a, a, a fucking account and it seems like it's someone from the diamond camp because everything about diamonds before that point was deleted except that very post. So I don't understand uh, what, like how this turned into like, let's say, I know I'm an easy target to hate. I've, I've had this my whole life, but for the, it's not what people think. What happened isn't me scamming the site and scamming the people. It's nothing like that. It's the site wanting more money wanting me to stream it more. Therefore, they provide me with future roles to be able to keep a balance good enough to be able to stream. That's all it was. And I took part in it, and I'm fully guilty of that. Has has Twitch contacted you? Because I saw a lot of people messaging me um, saying they were going to like lobby Twitch to get your stream shut down. I, I haven't had any contact from Twitch. The, the only thing about Twitch is when I was gambling, uh, they just messaged me to tell me about the new rule they had, which was 30 minutes of gambling for every hour of gaming, which is mm -hmm. the rule I've been following ever since day one. Mm -hmm. So th that's how, with, with Twitch I follow. If Twitch comes out and says, hey, don't play on this or don't do this, I've always followed what Twitch said. But other than that, gambling rule that Twitch told all the big streamers, who some streamers I feel like don't even follow, for instance, I still follow that rule. Mm. Uh, do you think they will get in touch? I mean, because, you know, this I, I think they're going to have to stop showing gambling in, in general. I, I, I think if I they'll stop showing gambling in general, then I'll stop gambling. It's very simple because... Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm not saying uh, that. I just think, do you think they'll maybe make you an ex example? To me, in terms of legal, like how legal this whole thing is, first off, there's no laws against gambling or not gambling. And you talk about the service and all that. They're not a real service. Their website is not a real service. Their website is pretty much just three kids who made a website together. Mm. And they're probably not a real company. I don't know. I haven't looked into their background in terms of if they're an LLC or if they're an actual corporation that are actually running legally in the UK or wherever they say they're running. So there's there's nothing about this. All I was involved in was simply accepting payment for advertisement for that website. That's all it was. Okay. And, and, and that's what I'm trying to get to people. It's all payment for advertisement for the website. Should have I advertised this website? Now looking back, back at it, no. I fucked up on at picking this website. Out of the hundreds of websites that asked me to advertise for them, I picked this one site. That was my fault. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Echo Fox? Echo Fox has. I've been contacted by Echo Fox management about. So how did that go? Uh, I, I just simply said, well, I'm, 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 you know, I talked to them about the real story. The CEO, this is. I haven't talked to Rick yet, uh, but I told them I'm going to do an interview with you. And I said, after the interview, if you guys still have questions about how involved I was or how this is, we can talk and we can have a more serious conversation because I understand their point of view about this. And if they want to distance themselves, I'll always understand that. But I simply don't feel like the whole world has to come to an end because I told on a site. Yeah, but I mean, uh, you understand as well Echo Fox's position. Obviously, Rick Fox is coming from an NBA background, very well respected in the sports world. And anything to do with gambling, uh, people are squeamish about it in general because of all the scandals, because of match fixing. And obviously, you've never been anywhere near any of that. But this might leave a bad taste in the mouth of some of the people in Echo Fox, potential investors, that kind of thing. So, I mean, you know, it, 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 I don't think it's um, necessarily over yet. I think, look, I, I think it's disgusting 
the reaction I've seen from the mob, right? Like people want to take everything from you. I do not endorse that. I do not support that. I think when people make mistakes, no matter, they've got to be pretty fucking bad to justify wanting to strip away someone's livelihood and, and, and status to the fucking bone. It's got to be really bad. It's got to be something grotesque. This doesn't qualify for me. But I, I but think I, this I, is I, bad I, to a certain degree. Yeah, I but, think I, but I think I want to act on this. Honestly, and 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 they they might they might they might. We don't know. We'll see what the, what they decide to do with with what has happened. All I can say is that with with, with the deal I had with Etrofox, they don't get involved in my personal deals. So they had no cl idea about this. Obviously. Uh, on my my personal status with this website, I I choose my the the sponsors that I get. I choose them personally, and I represent them under the MoTV brand, not the Equifax brand. So whatever happened has nothing to do with Equifax. It's all my fault. One, two is I hope that the community could get past this because at the end of the day, all I was doing was advertising the website. That and, and and that I don't think the website was scamming the people either. They were a normal gambling website. They get, when you go to a gambling website, you should expect to lose, not win. One, and I say this all the time. Now, the 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 way the website was with me was shady, and I put that to light. But I'm I'm not in no means saying the website actually um, used th this future role thing in their advantage because it, there's no way for them to benefit from them by the way their mode is. The way their website is, it wouldn't benefit them to do the future role. It would it would benefit someone who kind of found a way. Maybe a, if a dev gives someone information and steals from his own partners, that's how they could have fucked them shit, that shit up. That's all I'm saying. No, I, 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 I get it. I, I, I understand the. I, I guess I understand the defense. I, I, I just kind of, I'm a little bit worried that the, the a better strategy to to negotiating this particular rocky road might have been, uh, you know, some form of contrition. I, I, I don't know if the community like. Sometimes even if you ain't fucked up, you gotta just fucking eat the humble pie, right? But That's this true. does this does feel like a fuck up to me. This does feel like I, I you've mean, done it, something the, the, the unethical. Laund the, the longer this lasts, the more it, I do feel like it was a fuck up, uh, bigger than I originally thought it was. Honestly, mm. yeah. uh, I, at the end of the day, I just think like this, and th this is how I justify it in my head. And it might not be the way for everyone else, and people might not believe it, but I. I look at it this way: If I didn't do this, this website will still be making a million dollars off these people every day, every month, mm. and there'll be no one else. Like there'll be other YouTubers, other streamers in my spot who might not never say a word, and I would have still been getting paid by this exact website because that's how they work. Because they they would want me to not go play for another website or go do this, so they would keep me on retainer and keep paying me a fee every month. And everyone would be happy and everyone would still love me because I just got out of E-League and I'm a big star now and all this. And I guess I made a mistake by, you know, trying to putting this out to the world. Mm. That's that's really it. I could have kept it to myself and, and I still do not regret it because at the end of the day, it, you guys are going to make those decisions on your own. And I've been through worse before. No offense. Like, this is bad, but I've been through worse, believe it or not. No, if you no, don't know I, my history. I, 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 so, I know. So I've been there. I, I hope yeah, the no. people that do have support, have and do support me. And still, like, the past couple of days, Richard, or a few days, my stream's been doing a lot better than before I even mm. left for Elite because it's just like there's still people that are honestly, like, still supportive of the whole situation. And they still sit there and they let me talk to them and they let me, they try to understand my way and they tell me, Mo, you fucked up. And I go, you're right, I did fuck up. I'm not trying to say this was the right move. I fucked up big time. Mm. And all I could do is move on now. Like the more, the reason I did this, Richard, was also to have some, a one-stop shop for people to go to your YouTube channel yeah, and no, say, I got it. No. this is what happened with Mo and Diamonds. So now we can make a decision. And if you fucking hate me forever, Hate me forever, dude. It's fine. Like it's it's not the end of the world. It's fucking Father's Day. Go be with your father. Why are you watching this? Is the real question, right? <laughs> I'll tell you something. I uh, a lady wished me Happy Father's Day today. I, I mean, she's, uh, she's, what the fuck is that? I, I got the same thing too. Yeah, but, but you, I, I don't yeah. have any kids. Well, you look like you'd have. I a don't bunch of kids that you walked out on yeah it's, that's true uh i got that deadbeat dad fucking style haven't i like um look let's let's talk about learning experiences i'll let you get out of here i know you don't want to uh stay on this much longer you've got money to make obviously uh I'm let's streaming for the day we're good okay well you know i won't i won't keep you long anyway um let's let's talk about what we've learned 
uh, from this, um, and that is that. First of all, can you can you see? Right, you love your fans, right? Yeah, no homo though. Right, no, you love you love no your homo. fans. It's you, probably you love your homo, fans. Actually. You love you love your fans. And I saw your tweet recently. You put out there saying, you know, I got all these YouTube followers, I got all these Twitter followers, I got all these stream subs, uh, and I love you all, and thanks for making me what I am, right? So, and I believe you're genuine about that. I really do. I, I like I have a connection with my fan base as well, and it's very humbling for me. It's why I do the job. But that said, if your fans come to your stream um, and they see you advertising a product, they should also feel safe using that product. They should they should see your endorsement of that product as something that means they are an ethical service. They can feel confident putting their money into the service, and there'll be no negative reprisals. So, uh, I, I guess the apology isn't to the people who fucking hate you. It's the anyone. people that love me. No, I I, yeah. I agree. I agree. And and you're one hundred percent right. Now, all I could do is learn. Like this was. Believe it or not, I've been in the business for years, but there's still no handbook on who to trust in this business. Mm. There's only a handful of people that I've actually had good experiences with within the skin gambling business. And when those people are done and there's new people coming in all the time, if I type in CSO gambling, I'll see a thousand sites right now. So when I get contacted by these sites, I could only go by a first impression. That's it. And like I said, we had a good first impression and a week in, that's when he started giving me these, hey, what about this? What about that? And that's when I was like, fuck, like, what do I do now? I've already introduced this to my stream. Do I still go on with it or do I randomly stop? And now looking back at it, it would have been a lot better for me to say like, hey, this guy's hella shady. He tried to do this stream. Yep. Look what he did. I'm out, blocked, by. I'm a hero. That that would have been golden. And I, and I wish I could go back to that point, but I can't. I was already, I felt like, oh shit, I already started this. I might as well fucking keep going. And uh, for for the just so un people understand that I don't do anything that is fake on here uh, mm. purposely, like honestly, like when I ask for the future roles, I want I can't stress this enough. It was me trying to get r a refill on my account to be able to gamble more because the website told me that's how they refill my account. They did not want to just refill it like the normal way, which is manually because they thought if they refilled my account, it would look too shady that I just magically had 10,000 uh, emeralds or 10,000 coins or 10,000 diamonds sitting there in my account. That's why I was asking for future rules, not because I took those future rules and made a shit ton of money and walked out. Mm. So there was a slight rebuttal as well from diamonds. Uh, they did tweet at me. Uh, he said, uh, let me just read it for you. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it. Ask, ask them how their website's below. doing. I'm really <laughs> interested. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll ask them that in just a second. I got the tweet here. Uh, they said, uh, Mo used fake rolls when winning 10K diamonds on 1%, and he wasn't low on balance at the time. Stop twisting the truth. How, how do you respond to that? I don't know what they're talking about. Was it low on balance at the time? I'm always low on balance at that time because there is there they wanted me to keep betting for the remainder of my stream. When they ask me to keep playing, it means I have to keep getting refilled. The guy himself, there's even times where I never asked for a list and he would just automatically send me a list or he's going to go to sleep. So he's going to give me a list before he sleeps because they're on UK time. The, the, the bottom line is these people wanted me, wanted, instead of just refilling my account, why don't you ask them that, Richard? Ask mm. him, why not just refill his account like a normal website would? Because mm. Why? And their answer would be because it looked shady. Well, I guess this doesn't look shady at all, right? Yeah, well, it looks, it looks far far more shady. Um, would uh, you, can, you can also see as well that... You can if, also talk to other people that have worked with Diamonds. Other, I don't know... If 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 they have done this shady stuff with the other people, but I know other I'm people. I'm sure they will. Have. I'm sure. I'm sure more will come out in the, in the future, and I'm sure, uh, you know, yeah, a little bit of it is you being the first guy to, to to say anything publicly and having benefited will make you come in for some. And again, I I think it's fair criticism, honestly. But uh, but I, I imagine they've done this with other people. I imagine this is standard business practice. Well, I don't believe you're th the that, first. Oh. That was the reason I I I brought this to light because. I feel that even if they they really haven't done it with anyone else, 
after me leave they would they will eventually to get their website out there more to get even bigger i don't even have that much influence there's some big youtubers out there with a shit ton of influence that these people that they could potentially give them all the fucking future roles for for a for a recorded video i do a live stream this guy is like people that do recorded fucking 10 minute videos and and are winning insane amounts of time that does look a little shady to me to be mm. honest okay um, just one other thing then. I mean, you can see if you have the advantage of having the roles in advance and yet you were still needing more and more roles to kind of stay up. Ask Diamond if I took anything, if th those roles, mm. if Mo took anything out of the site in skin format, Based on those roles. Ba yeah. Based on anything ever from the life, life of the skin. Ask them what my withdrawals were because then you'll know if I actually took money that I won. That that's the, as simple as that. Ask them if I took money out of the website to 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 sell. Because I not once took money out of the website, other than maybe a giveaway here or there that was all live on stream. And they know that. That's why they won't bring it up. Because all the money that was in my account was fake, mm. and they knew it was fake. So that's why they don't have me on anything other than I I now sold the world, the idea that their website's better than it was. That's all it was. That's where I fucked up. That's what I'm trying to fucking fix. So they they did also tweet after that saying they can prove their claims and that they have a video. I don't let know. Them, let, let, let them do whatever. Ask them to show me pulling money out of their website. That's all I want to see. Okay. If, if they actually have proof of me pulling money out of their website, then I'm the scammer. I'm wrong in this whole thing. Instead, you won't find anything because... The, they're liars and they're worried because their website's actually dying now. And mm. this is the most traffic their website will get all day because it's people going in to check on the website because they're watching the stream. That's literally all that's happening. And all I did to, was set out to kill the site and I did that and I'm happy. Okay. Um, so let, let's start wrapping it up. We've talked a little bit about life lessons. I, I still think there's going to be a little bit more fallout from this, and I agree with you. If there I, is, I, there is, man. Yeah, I, I think I think you'll be. I think you survive. I think you'll be okay. I think your stream will continue as it should because I, I think unfollowed you're good. Mo TV followed Richard Lewis reports. Nice. Yeah. We still got him. At least one of us has him. Right. So I like I, you know, I like what you do. I actually like you as a person. But I cannot endorse some of the antics that have gone on here. I can't defend it. I can't find an angle or any way of, of, of interpreting it in my brain where I think what you've done is okay. So the question is, will you learn from this and just renounce having any ties to online gambling? It seems inherently I shady. I, 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 I will be more careful about who I represent and what I represent. Will I fully, fully stop online gambling for CSGO items? I don't know. I will maybe try to slowly get off it as my stream kind of moves towards a different direction. I'll, I'll try doing something like that. Now, will I take on some a bunch of new fucking gambling partners who I've been offered insane amounts since this whole thing came to light? I don't think so. I, I think I want to stay as far away as from anything new and just stick to my routine for now and, and hope this whole all this blows over. But I can't tell you that I'm never going to be gambling on my stream again because I'm just, like that's entertainment on my stream like I explained earlier. Okay. I can't just walk let away me, from let me, let me frame it another way then. I see Echo Fox as an incredible opportunity. I, I think they're going to do very well. I, I think they've got some very uh, big, you know, competent and big names involved with them. I like the way Rick, Fo Rick Fox has uh, always publicly advocated for, uh, for gaming. He's always done that. And he, I think he enriches our scene. He's the kind of person I want to see more of in our scene, not these fucking opportunists that come in. People who have an actual pedigree in gaming that they can point to before they got involved in these sports and say, here I am on this TV show talking about why gaming isn't responsible for, you know, murders and, and, and all of this other stuff that we get in the mainstream media. Like, he's good people as far as I'm concerned. What if they said to you, Mo, you've got to choose. Uh, you've got to choose between... Having these gambling sponsors on your site, or you've got to choose Echo Fox. And keep in mind, even if you weren't doing it for uh, ethical reasons, 
Echo, Echo Fox could be the golden ticket. If you have a share of equity, which is what a lot of people say that you do, uh, if that brand was ever sold or if there was ever big investments coming in, you would stand to get a percentage of that. And that could be way, way more long term than any small, trivial if, if If it came down to that, Richard, I would have to have a serious conversation about stability with Echo Fox for the future and some guarantees here and there, like you said, because I do agree with you. It is a big thing, but that's not to say that there's not these big organizations that are getting sponsored by these websites, by the way. There's what there's organizations that are an e-league that are sponsored by these websites, just, just so that's like known. So I don't think it's fair to just point out one thing and say, well, you know, all these other teams can have gambling sponsors, but Mo and Echo Fox shouldn't because of Mo's past. Or Mo, what Mo dot himself fucked up with that? I don't see, see that as fair at all. If if there's an actual rule that says, um, if first off, if Echo Fox comes to be that way, we would have to have a long conversation and figure something out. But I'm saying, if if it's in terms, if you're trying to say like, no one should ever have anything to do with gambling, then this is a much bigger problem than you originally think because everyone has a skin website. That mm. they represent to a certain extent, let, and let I don't me, see that stopping until there's clear-cut rules from Valve themselves saying shit. That's the only way this stops, I think, or countries given laws against it, because there, there's no way to stop it, Richard. Yeah, no, I, I get this now, but but let me let me, and I'm sure you're aware of this. I know you're a keen sports fan. I know we scheduled this so we could watch the fucking final Kings. NBA game. It's the Warriors, <laughs> goddammit. Right, right. God so damn, British. So let's let's. <laughs> so okay. And so they're British. So uh, just saying, it's funny how you guys are friends on Twitter. Yeah, we all stick together, right? Yeah. Um. So any, so anyway, let's fucking let's let's talk about how it works in sports, and that is that you will see gambling sponsors in sports you will see them in the uk in, in soccer for example you'll see a lot of gambling sites now this is backed up by very robust regulation it is backed up by the fact that if anybody involved in the sport even if you play for a semi-professional team in the l- lowest tiers of the game if you place a bet on any football match even if you cannot realistically affect that outcome you stand to be banned for life this applies to referees this applies to coaches it applies to staff at clubs who would be deemed to have a reasonable amount of insider knowledge or potential influence and it is applied to such an unrealistic standard that for example if a referee uh, or an umpire uh, uh, for American people was ever caught gambling on on the outcome of games, even if he didn't referee in that league, he would be banned forever. So we have very robust uh, and, legislature. Well, in well that no, well, well, no, no. I well, with that in regards of match fixing and knowing ma- outcomes of professional games and all that. I've I've never bet on matches, Richard. I I no, that, hey, betting, and that and part and of I, betting. I know, I know that. I'm saying there's nothing in the real world that that kind of equates to skin gambling. No, no, no. In, uh, skin well, on skin. That's what I'm saying. So Those gambling services that allow you to bet on matches, they also provide gambling platforms for multiple other things. We've got to have a what we call um, the way it's advertised has to be handled a certain way. You will notice it will always say gamble responsibly. You're not allowed to show people winning vast amounts of money. It's like how you advertise you know, McDonald's uh, to, to, to children. You've got to be very careful about it. Anything that is seen to be encouraging in nature is actually not allowed. And again, we get back to this idea of trading yeah. standards and advertising things. Well, and, 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 I, and that's what needs to be done. We don't have any of this. Regular. Exactly, and when when they're like, and I, I I feel you on that. Like there is no like this is so new. You think I thought a website would come pay me hundreds of thousands to advertise them? I don't know how to advertise this. All I could do is play on it on stream. If I actually knew or was trained on what to do and what not to do, I would be a lot better off. And I agree now. Now that I'm a lot, you know, like I had to experience this the the hard way. I know what to look for and what to do. So now if a, a website comes to me. I have a lot more regulations from my part personally, not necessarily because the law said so, but because I want to save my brand in the future by by laying out some strict guidelines on how I'm going to represent them mm. without it being, like you say, overly encouraging and all that shit. Because I do feel like I do overly encourage. I do sell out to an extent when I'm gambling on these sites. I do uh, make it to seem like when it's high, it's high. And when it's low, it's very bad. I do all that. And I agree with you. Mm. So... Uh, 
do, do you think we've adequately t told your side of the story? Like, do you uh, yeah, feel I mean, confident we've 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 put all of the facts that you believe are important when people my, do my, make an assessment? Ev everything that I believe to be to be to have happened during this mo oh. this time, I've said. Uh, people, if people still somehow don't understand uh, the the money part, all I the, my main points, and I want to end it with this, just so people know. Uh, any money that was exchanged was money that was owed to me and payment to me for advertising. It was no money that I physically pulled out of the site or, or demanded from the site for skins or anything that I stole or anything like that. Everything was paid for because it was agreed upon that they owed me this kind of money because of me advertising their site. That's one. Number two, any time I asked for a future role, again, I say it, and one last time, Richard, was me refilling my account to play launder on their website. And I challenged the website to show any shred of evidence that I made any big pullouts of money from the website that aren't a couple giveaways here or there. I want them to show me taking, you saw, everyone has it on stream where I had hundred up to almost 200,000 diamonds on that website. Show me where I pulled out 200,000 of, of, of the website money and put it in my like took it out in my inventory and sold it. Just show me that I withdrew anything from the website, and then you could call me a scammer. You could call me anything you want, but that's that's how I think the truth comes out. Is when you, I didn't do anything different. All I did was advertise a website, and I chose poorly on which website I advertised. Mm. Okay. Well, I I, I think we can uh, wrap it up there. I'll just say. You know, like, I'm not going to give you the fucking uh, dad speech, like, you know, I'm fucking disappointed or whatever. Um, I, I just, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. I get that. It, it, no, no, it, it, no, it's fine. I do feel like if you're disappointed, I feel like a, a lot of this was kind of like. You were riding the crest you, of a beautiful wave, man. Like, yeah, I, I really I, felt the tide was I'm turning for you. A lot of you think I'm stupid for bringing this out because I could have just been quiet and been making the the hundred thousand a month that they could probably offer or fifty thousand or thirty forty thousand a month just by being quiet i could have done that yes i could have done that mm. but i chose not to do that maybe i'm really actually stupid only time will tell how stupid i really am well you know look i i i certainly hope it doesn't cost you too much i i, I honestly think there's there's a chapter to be written still i I've, if i i'll be honest i'll say this if i were rick fox i'd, I'd cut ties frankly I, I I just would. If he if he has to, he has to, man. But yeah. you gotta understand that I, these um, all these orgs are looking for for skin sponsors to pay money because the normal sponsors don't pay as much anymore. Mm. Just so you know, that's how CSGO is going. Skin site sponsors pay more than actual sponsors now, and that's yeah. what's dangerous about this whole situation. And and I I I, I think yeah, Richard is cut out. Nice. Hang on, we're gonna go to a break. We'll be right back. Yep, the joy, the joys of hotel Wi-Fi. So I was literally about to wrap up. It was gonna be a beautiful, smooth transition to end the show. Obviously, it didn't happen like that. But look, Mo, right? I say whatever happens, we're still friends. That's never gonna yeah, change dude, for sure. Um, and you know, I, I don't believe you, you deserve to be completely destroyed over this. But I would seriously. You want me to be a little bit destroyed? No, I, I, think gotta, I think you got to learn a lesson, and I think you need to. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Shit. I I I agree. I agree that I should think think things through before I do them, hundred yeah. percent, and make better decisions on what I do. And like I said, I just tweeted about this too. If I lost supporters here, I'm sorry. And if I still have supporters, I'm sorry, because I never meant for this to get as big as it did, but it did. And what can you do now? Yep. Well, look, man, um, just uh, you take care of yourself, and thanks for coming on the show, obviously. Uh, what we're going to do for all the people that maybe caught this late, we're going to put this together as a VOD. It's going to go out on my YouTube channel. Then when that hits social media, Mo's going to put a copy on his YouTube channel for the benefit of his subscribers. Uh, so basically, I get to build up my piddling little YouTube channel. Go su subscribe to Richard's uh, uh, thank shit. You, thank you, Mo. Yeah, I, I, maybe maybe don't endorse me right now, mate. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe wait a few months, and then you give me the endorsement a little bit later. Later, okay uh but anyway uh so thanks a lot to everyone who tuned in thanks for sam for producing the show thanks for mo for being candid i have no idea how the interview will go over and and, and i don't know either i don't know if this look makes me look worse or better but at least i said everything i needed to say honestly yeah. and I, I think that's the key thing and we'll be back with an all-new richard lewis show maybe even as early as tomorrow uh we've we've had to go ahead we've got to record an area set up so um we're, we're looking good um so we'll end the show there Thanks a lot, Mo. Thanks a lot, Sam. Thanks a lot, viewers. And we'll see you next time.